Hey guys, welcome back to the homestead. So we've been getting some questions on the DIY line. Um, you all watched some of our videos and have asked a lot of questions about it and asked questions about the e-panel for the DIY line. So Midnight did send us a prototype e-panel and I apologize for the wiring. We kind of put it together just to check and test things and it's not real neat, but you know what? It works. So the e-panel basically consists of the chassis with the bus bars and all the knockouts for things and then it comes as a kit you get all the breakers and the wires and you do all the work yourself you know you put it together wire it per the wiring diagram uh, one thing we did find on the prototype was that you can't get to the rocker switch and there's no way to get the communications cable out neatly so eh, i just made a little hole here they're actually on the production ones they're making a thumb hole so you can reach it and do that rocker switch and then you get a nice cover they're also in the production units there's uh, holes in this so the wires go through it so it's neater but they also have uh, locators for the breaker so it's a lot easier to put your cover on you know the cover just slides on there something like that like i say you gotta you gotta get everything lined up and it's a it can be it can be a little tricky but it, it goes on like that there's four screws in the cover this does have the new z wire um, bypass so instead of the old slider that was part of the dead front, this is a wire that goes in the breakers. So the breakers are interlocked with the wire, and that way you still have your bypass even when the cover's off. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's it. They're actually, I think, having... You know, today is Friday the 2nd, September 2nd, and I believe Midnight is doing their final design review on this today. And plans on trying to get this on the market next week. I don't know anything about pricing or any of that, but that's where that's at. This is the 5048. This e panel will work with the 5048 or the 3548. And then they have another model for the 3024. The one thing we did, um, there's no physical connection between these two inverters. So we actually, we, we could see inside the inverter. We know uh, these two inverters, the e panel and the inverter. We can see inside here and we knew there was a blank spot. We actually ran a self-tapping screw through both pieces of metal so that we could wire this in the shop and hang it on the wall. Um, you may find that works for you. You may decide to just do this and hold that up there. That's up to you how you do that. But that's the e-panel. Uh, nice matching, you know, complimentary. And then we did have a lot of questions on the 5048. And you'll notice I've got it off right now. We've shut a lot of stuff off in here because this building is really quite loud when everything's running. The XW selling at 6,000 watts, all these things going. So we shut a bunch of things off so you could hear me. But we've been running this quite a bit. Um, we've got everything set up so that we can pick between this, the missing Rosie, or the XW. And no, I did not blow the Rosie up. It wasn't for lack of trying, but I did not blow it up. The engineers made a mistake on the firmware update and it pushed code into an unused space of memory and the bootloader didn't erase it or something. I don't know. There was something something about it could not be updated in the field ever again. It had to go back and be reflashed. So there you go. Um, but this has been running, running pretty well. We've got 3,150 watts of PV on it. Um, we do have the cell phone, the Wi-Fi adapter. So we got the cell phone app. I don't have it with me. But you guys have seen that in the previous video. That's still working great. Um, just a neat little machine. We're pretty excited. The 10 kilowatt unit, our beta unit or alpha unit, whatever you want to call it, just showed up by UPS today. So we're going to tease you with that a little bit, that 10 kilowatt unit. What Midnight's goal is, is to make that a, a complete all-in-one unit with breakers and everything. So when you get it, it's ready to rock and roll. It'll have the bypass, it'll have the breakers, it'll have everything for the PV array. It is 10 kilowatt split phase, dual 500 volt MPPT charge controllers, and it has grid type. So it will sell to the grid. Um, pretty cool. It will, I believe we're going to, I believe they said it's going to be able to do self consumption as well with CTs in the main panel. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff happening with this, and Midnight is really digging into this so you know on the on the original diy line midnight worked closely with the company in china uh private labeled it and made some enhancements but this one the, the enhancements are going way beyond 
Um, you know, Midnight's going to work to get it set up to sell to the grid. They're going to build their own chassis. They're going to just add some software to it. There's going to be a lot, a lot of Midnight spin on this one. So that'd be pretty cool. But, you know, we'll probably bring it along. I think that one's going to Florida. We'll probably unbox it, take a look at it ourselves. But we'll bring it along probably when we get it to Florida and we start doing some stuff down there. Um, we've been kind of busy helping Midnight get all this stuff going. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it on the 5048. I did talk to their tech support guru over there the other day at midnight. And the failure rate on these is really low. Um, I was curious, you know, how it was doing. The 3024, this, the 3548, all actually really dependable units. Um, they haven't had much of a failure rate on them at all to speak of. So real happy about that. Yeah. Uh... I don't know what else to say about the e-panel. That's a basic e-panel. <laughs> I mean, like I say, I think that the big thing really is they did make provisions to add a second charge controller. So you have a battery plus and a battery minus bus bar here. So you could add another charge controller to this if you want. Uh, you could add an SPD. You know, there's some, some options there. They did put a 50 amp PV breaker in, which, yeah... For me, I would have probably gone with a 30 because it's only a 4,000 watt MPPT, if I remember right. And it's probably only ever going to get a single string of PV, but that's what they decided to use. 40 amp AC breakers and a 125 amp DC main. So, nice little unit, nice little box. I do believe I was told that the original release would not be... UL listed. I believe that they are working on a second revision that will be listed and they're also working on a arc fault and ground fault module that will fit inside here as an option if you need that for your system. But I think that's about it. I think we're just going to keep beating on the 5048. We're going to see how it holds up. We're going to install the split phase in Florida. We're going to play with that ourselves as well and punish that. I think we're going to, well you guys might have to wait and see. But I think our plan is to set up the air conditioning in Florida to be off-grid. I think we're going to put in around 15, maybe 20 kilowatt hours of lithium. And I think we're going to probably get around 4 kilowatts of PV installed and see how much we can alleviate our air conditioning bill. Um, right now we're not down there. It's like I just told you, September 2nd. Our last light bill down there was $50 and we have the AC set on 85 so that's kind of our goal is like if we can make that air, air conditioning run 75 percent off grid you know predominantly during the summer when we're not there and then in the winter we'll do what we can with it but if, if we can do that we figure that's going to really you know help a lot and it's going to give us a place to continue to test and help midnight you know design and uh improve this stuff so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe